Hey, Rock Room. Hey! Dirt Man here with another special report here at New Paris Quarry in Bedford. J.S. Taylor opened this cut in the 1920s to make white or slack lime for concrete and farm use. Then, in the 1940s, New Enterprise Stone and Lime Company bought it to produce gravel for roads and concrete. Now, under private ownership, it's maintained as a geoscience educational site. There was what we call a regression, in a regressional environment. Sea level dropped and withdrew out of this region. After our amazing host, Professor Steven Lemberg's in-depth geology lesson into the quarry's formations, I set out to explore the layers marking the boundary between the Silurian and Devonian eras. But I quickly get distracted by boulders covered with calcite crystals and fluorite. I just found a section here in the quarry with a bunch, bunch of fluorite. Spin around behind me and this boulder is covered. Oh yeah, some nice fluoride on this one. But there's so much more than just crystals to be found in this quarry. So here's a complete stromatoporid mound with some corals on it. You could probably chip this out. So it's a mound shape, so this is a complete stromatoporid. So see right there? There's the stromatoporid. This was a patch reef. A reef, this is Halocytes right there. That's one large coral growth. See the chains? So that's, this was the seafloor, yeah. and you're standing on what we call a patch reef. But as the Earth's ever-changing climate dried this area out, cracked mudflats became fossilized too, and are still well-preserved today. Got a couple nice brachiopods. I'll tell you, one of the hardest parts of this whole trip is just getting over these boulders. Tell you what, bringing all our rock back up. <laughs> yeah, and getting our rocks out of this hole, I'll tell you. Well, I made it out, and the wife is still picking up more rocks. You see that behind me here? <laughs> this lower level has produced some quite nice finds for people. So we're going to head up to the top shelf now, see what's up there. We're now on the second level. We're going to find some fossils, maybe some trilobites, maybe some trilobite poops. Let's check it out. So what do you think, Brittany? I think this is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, let's go find some trilobites. Oh yeah. Trilobite corner. Here we go. Gonna find me some. Well, it's not a trilobite, but that's a big old brat. Oh yeah. I'm here with Dwayne. He's just checking out my find. I just found. There it is. Nice. That's a piece of a trilobite right there. In the trilobite corner. I've got another trilobite here. Yes, you do. Yeah, wow, nice. Yes, you do. He's in there. Holding the rock this way, he's in there upside down. So you're looking at the underside of the head yeah. right there. See that? I showing it to a couple people here. Today rock room members, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Dennis. And it looks like you found a trilobite. Yes. That'll make my wife so happy. Yes. There you go. Uh, I was right. Yes, yeah, trilobite. And that's uh, Dalmanites. I'd like to thank Professor Lindberg once again for the amazing education and identification of our finds. From all of us at the Rock Room, thanks, Stephen. It's been a great day here at New Paris Quarry. We found lots of trilobites, fossils, gemstones. Everyone's happy going home. That's my report. I'm Dirt Man, bringing the geology to you. Back to you, Jerry.